Hello, my name is Craig Milne and I am a general practitioner in Brighton and Hove. And I would just really like to talk to you about uh, a new innovation that we are offering at a lot of surgeries um, across the whole of Sussex for the first contact practitioner. About four years ago, NHS England worked out that they didn't have enough GPs and so they looked at other healthcare professionals as to who could really help out in primary care. They came up with a group of people who would be helpful and the first people they used were pharmacists and then the next group they looked at were physiotherapists. Now about 20 to 25 percent, so about one in four or one in five appointments in primary care is actually to do with a musculoskeletal disorder. So that's a disorder that affects your muscles, bones, joints. And rather than having a GP who is completely competent, obviously, to look after those conditions, they said, why don't we use a physiotherapist who's already really experienced? So we're looking at people who are at least five years qualified to be working in primary care to see patients with musculoskeletal disorders instead of the GP. Now, I'm a physiotherapist by trade, but I've done further training to work within more of a specialist role. I've been asked to work within GP practice as a first contact physiotherapy practitioner. We are really trying to expand the number of roles that we are able to offer our patients uh, to provide a, a much broader range of services um, and as part of this we are now able to offer first contact uh, physiotherapists. One of the advantages of the FCP service is we are sort of buying a service rather than recruiting one person and training them up. Uh, so they, they are sort of ready to get it from from the start. Uh, so um, our patients are benefiting from actually seeing a clinician uh, who is able to deal with uh, a lot of things um, and in turn uh, uh, helps with the workload for the GPs and, and clinicians in, in practice. Um, so during that consultation, it's really important to us to find out uh, what matters to you. Um, two people may have the same knee arthritis, but it's gonna have really different impacts on their life if they're a roofer compared to if you're worried about looking after your grandchildren or if you're a professional golfer, you can have the same condition of, but it means really different things to different people. So finding out what matters to you and then we'll actually do a thorough examination of you. I got a ball smashed in my ribs when I was defending. Yeah. I didn't think it was. I say smashed in my ribs because obviously that's what happened. It didn't hurt at the time. I played the entire match, the rest of the match. I played another match on the Sunday um, and then I played a training session on Tuesday and it was only on the Wednesday after that. But I started to feel some kind of discomfort around that area. I'd assumed it was a kind of rib injury because it was a kind of protruding flared bit of rib that was hurting. I was doing things to prevent the rib from getting hurt, as you know, being very, very rigid and not doing any kind of twisting or movements or anything, because I assumed it was bone rather than muscular. Yeah. And so I tracked it from six weeks from that day itself in order to for healing. And then once it got to that point, that's when I booked a GP appointment thinking it hasn't really healed in the way I expect it to if it was a bone injury. So ergo, have a GP session. And then obviously being referred to Dan, I had done some research about whether it could be a muscular injury. And he was quite quick to assess that it almost certainly was based on what I described. I mean, I'd had sort of pain migrating around that area of the body. So we'll talk to you. We'll find out what's important to you. We'll examine you. And then we'll go through the different options available to you. And different things suit different people. It might be that we need to do an investigation. So the FCPs are allowed to do blood tests and the x-rays. Um, or it might be that you need to be referred on to physio or self-referred to physio. Or it might be that we need to get you to see specialist services or even secondary care, for example, in the um, unlikely uh, outcome that you'd need to, need to be thinking about surgery. Like what I love about this role is that we connect the dots so I can discuss your case with the GP if we need to, just like the GP can discuss your case if you start with the GP with me. So it's kind of really fulfilling a whole sort of um, approach of what's going on for you and linking in with the right people to ensure that you get the right care. But when you uh, phone up to the surgery and you have a problem with a joint or a muscle or a bone, pain, discomfort, not being able to use it properly, it's, you know, it's been causing you problems, uh, when you speak to the receptionist, one of the options that they will give you is to make an appointment with the first contact practitioner as opposed to the general practitioner or one of the nurse practitioners. Uh, so our, uh, all our receptionists have undergone some training and updates to uh, sort of identify which patient groups uh, are more appropriate to be booked into these clinics. Uh, and broadly, it seems to work uh, very well. 
Uh, and sometimes the patients come to uh, see, see us uh, in the clinic and then we uh, signpost and refer them to this clinic. Uh, uh, and it can happen the other way as well. Um, if the FCP, after seeing the patient, feels that they do need a GP assessment, uh, um, definitely we will uh, arrange that. Uh, but most of the musculoskeletal conditions, the FCPs are um, well qualified. Uh, and uh, uh, capable of dealing with, and I would say they are the, the right people to see those patients. Um, yeah, and and our patients uh, seem to uh, really like the service, and uh, it seems to uh, have gone down really well with our patient population. It's a great system, as far as I can tell, to bring that into there. So I can so absolutely recommend it. He was able to give some guidance as to you know some twisting exercises and pal off presses, various different things I could do to alleviate the the, the issue going forward, which has worked so far. Yeah. You know, if things get better, brilliant. But if they don't get better, we are accessible to talk about that further. And if we need to make any further diagnoses for, in regards to investigations or, or referrals onwards to different services, we can do that. We as GPs are really have been really um, delighted with um, having physiotherapists join our team uh, for many reasons. First of all, they are upskilling us in how we manage our own uh, musculoskeletal conditions, but also they are really providing an amazing service for our patients. And our patients are being seen by the right person uh, at the right time. So really early on in any sort of um, musculoskeletal uh, condition or pain, and able to get you, uh, get you better and rehabilitated sooner. You know, for patients, it's much more accessible. You can see us much more quickly than before if you were going to be referred into a different service and so therefore it's much more responsive so you get a response to the condition that you have much more quickly and almost you get then much more engagement because we're all working together under one roof so almost the the ability to engage and to to enable you to, to care for yourself is much more enhanced the other thing we can do is sign you off work if necessary so again it's trying to take the workload off the gp but also make the experience better for patients in the way that you're seeing a specialist right at the beginning of your MSK journey. Uh, the main thing is the, the FCPs are, are experts in musculoskeletal conditions and uh, in, in many ways they are qualified and sometimes even more qualified than a, a GP or, or a nurse practitioner who uh, often uh, assesses these conditions. Uh, and if it is appropriate for them to see a GP. Of course, we will uh, arrange to uh, uh, see a GP. Uh, uh, but in this way, seeing an FCP first usually uh, gets patients access to uh, uh, the appropriate clinician very early on. They get uh, a right advice, right assessment, um, and further referrals if they if there's a need for. We would strongly encourage you when you're offered this uh, to take it up because we really do think that they are the best people to see you. We're always still happy to see you, but we do feel that they offer something extra and above what a general practitioner can do.